Airtable forms are great for creating new records, but what about updating? In this video, we will show you how you can update existing records using fillout forms. Stick around. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated, and on this channel, we help you save time and money by automating your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership only perks. So often we have use cases where we would like a customer to update their previous submissions in Airtable, and we might want to send them a link to do that, or we maybe have even created a read-only portal, like in the previous video we have shared, where they can see the information, but they cannot update anything because they have read-only access, but we provide them an ability to update the record using fillout. So in this video, we'll show you how to use fillout, which is a great form builder, plus um, it offers other functionalities such, such as signatures, workflows, and so on. And it has a fairly generous plan, so you can get up to 1000 responses for free. So in this video, we'll show you how to build forms that allow you to update existing records from scratch. So let's start with making a fillout. And here we will connect to existing data source. You will see that there are multiple data source which you could use fill out with. In our case, we're gonna go for Airtable. We're gonna select any, any team over here. And we already have our account added over here. So we'll start over here. Now let's select the base and let's select the table. The table is gonna be in customers. All right, and now we start with empty canvas and let's just create some draft form over here. And you will see that I'm pulling in all the information here from the side. So for example, the company name, the bank accounts, the, the contact person, you can see that this is fairly easy and, and fast. I can also add the, the attachment fields. Um, I can set here on the sides whether those specific fields are required or not. But at this stage, we are still having a submission form. So this would create a submission. So the moment when we change this from submission to update starts here, we will go to integrate. Inside of integrate, we'll click at the Airtable connection. And right now we will change this from create record to update record. Once you click on update record, here you will actually get a pre-filled formula that allows you to update those records. So now we'll go back to our Airtable over here and I will create a separate field. And first I will use the formula field to show you how it works. I am literally copy pasting this information over here to create the field. And with this, I am able to create update to the record. You can see, do not forget to publish the form first. And now I can update all the information over here. And you can see that this row here got updated. So that's it, simple as that. As a final trick, you can actually convert it into a button field with the same formula remaining underneath. And that's it. This is the way how you created a button for updating the form. It also doesn't give you a warning that you're leaving Airtable over here. All right, guys, I hope this was useful for you. And let me know how did you like this video and good luck automating your business. Mm -hmm.